Hi, I'm Dr. Hafsa Luta. I'm a dentist. I work with Kakamega Dental Suit. Today we are partnering with Ponea Health to talk about root canal treatment. A root canal treatment is a treatment modality for teeth that have been affected with dental cavity where this tooth is cleaned into, into its roots. Later on, a filling material placed and a restoration placed on top at the end of the treatment. So basically when we are doing a root canal treatment, Number one, the individual has to know that uh, this is going to be a treatment where it's done in uh, two or three visits. During the first visit, we clean out the root of the tooth and then we place uh, a material that has medicine in it to kill any bacteria that has been left behind and we place a temporary material. We wait for one week and the patient comes in now for the second visit or the third visit depending on which tooth it, it is. Mostly for front teeth, we do two visits but for back teeth, those are the more larger, we like to do three visits. So let's assume we are doing a front tooth. A front tooth will do it in, the, in two visits. First visit you've come in, we've cleaned out the root, we've put a medication to kill out any bacteria remaining in the root and a temporary filling. In the next visit when you come in, we are removing this temporary material, we are cleaning the tooth once again, and then now we are putting in our final filling. We start by filling the root, and then now we do a filling for the visible part of the tooth, which is the crown. And now this tooth can be used by the patient to eat anything at home. So the day before a root canal treatment, the preparation that can be done by the patient will depend on the nature of this tooth. So by this I mean uh, there are patients where they have, uh, you have difficulty to get the tooth to be numb during the procedure. So for such patients, normally they take a painkiller 30 minutes before the procedure. If they live near the clinic, they can do that at home and come to the clinic. If they live far away, they can come to the clinic while at the waiting area, take their medication while waiting for the appointment. This will just ease the process of getting the tooth numb so as to allow this procedure to be done in a painless manner. After a root canal procedure, um, the most common thing that the patient should expect at home, it can happen so before I give the things that for someone to expect, uh, we should just note some people can experience them, other patients may not experience them. But just in case, you, you be aware so that you, be, you know what to look for. So the common one is pain. This can happen a day or two after the root canal procedure. For this, you just need to have some painkillers at home. This painkiller can be pre prescribed by a doctor uh, based on what works for you or what you've previously used or putting in, in place things like if you have ulcers, we can change the medication, or if you have allergies to certain medication, we can adjust the medication to use. Another thing to expect uh, while healing at home, uh, you could get uh, the temporary material can fall off. That one you should not panic. Uh, another thing can happen is uh, the temporary material that was placed for in-between appointments can fall off. That one you should not panic from that. The tooth could also fracture. This is also something that could, is expected because uh, of the nature of the treatment. The tooth has been left weak by the cavity that, were, that had been there. You don't panic. Uh, another thing that could happen is uh, difficulty chewing, maybe because of the temporary filling was placed too high than the other teeth. So in case of these kinds of discomforts, if your appointment date is, is uh, due, you come in, you tell the doctor what has happened. If the appointment date is far away, you can schedule an impromptu visit where you come into to the clinic and uh, we try and remedy the default that has happened. Thank you for joining our discussion today. You can book our services at ponea.com. I'm looking forward to engaging with you in the next episode.